In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Puppet Warp uh, within Photoshop CS6. Okay, so in this image, uh, I have a hand here. Uh, uh, my initial layer was this one. By the way, if you just want to see one layer, uh, if you have a multiple layers here and say you just want to see this one perhaps, if you hold down Alt and click on the on the eyeball here, you will only be able seeing that layer. If you hold down Alt again, you, you get to see all the other layers again. So as you can see I have the hand here and it's only the hand, everything else is uh, just transparent, it's just the hand that I have here. This is just the background. Okay, so I have the hand and uh, so that's the best way of using Puppet Warp is if you only have the object that you want to uh, do some changes to. So I have the layer selected and if I go to edit and here you have the option Puppet Warp. So basically it uh, kind of looks like a somewhat of 3D uh, look here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to click and add a few points. So we click here. We click here. Just adding a few points of So now to actually deform this uh, or shape here, once you get close to the point and you can actually hold, uh, left mouse click and hold it down to kind of move it, move that around. And you see it's kind of uh, being kind of constrained to, to the other points that I have available there. And they're, they're kind of moving as well. So I can kind of deform uh, what I got here. So we can see how I can kind of change uh, our our, sh our initial shape that we what that we had. Sometimes when it's close to other uh, areas, it's not going to deform as well as as you wished. But if you're really really careful uh, where you place the, those points, uh, it's uh, it's going to do a fairly good job. So this is basically what Puppet Warp does. Uh, you can kind of place on points and uh, can move around uh, and kind of distort the shape that you initially had. See how it even goes up. It kind of overlaps over the, the area there. And I think you can change that. Uh, if you click on this one, I believe, uh, kind of, you can see how it goes uh, underneath the, this area. So you're not going to see that finger, uh, and you're going to see this area instead. If you click here, as you can see. So that's a uh, that's how. Uh, Puppet Warp uh, works. It's a it's a really neat tool to have available, uh, especially if you're really careful and you know exactly what you're doing. You can get the you can deform things well really nicely within Puppet Warp. So that's how it works. See the changes here. Okay, so that's uh, how you use Puppet Warp.